Loaders are moving tons of beet pulp fresh from nearby sugar factories into this hopper to be sifted and ground up. It's on its way to becoming lunch for a thoroughbred. We remove all the big pieces. Uh, it's been said that uh, anything larger than a quarter, I believe, could potentially choke a horse. And a lot of the beet pulp goes into high-end horse feed. And uh, quality is, is very important, and that's something that we take pride in. Labadi has been creating ingredients for animal feed since 1907. For over 100 years, they've taken what used to be thrown away and grind it up, like these tomato skins. Rich in antioxidants, it's great nutrition for pets. We'll bring that product in and we'll dry it here. We have a large rotary drum drying operation. We'll dry that product, we'll grind it, use a hammer mill, we'll grind it into a, a powder, a pumice, uh, then add a preservative to it as well. And a lot of that goes into high-end pet food. Quality stems from good management practices here at Labuddy. These guidelines follow the product through processing to the bagging area. GMP plus certification means even the trucks are scrutinized before being allowed to haul materials out of here. When we hire people in, uh, for example, when we hire a new employee, they have to go through our quality training, which means I sit with them uh, for a couple hours, I go through all of our quality training with them, let them know the quality standards we have. Because our philosophy at Labuddy is that every person is responsible for quality. The staff will move around the plant as each product is processed. You'll wear several hats working here. You may run a loader one day, but you may be at the robot bagging the next day. So everyone's pretty much cross-trained here. Jesse Ruiz knows it really gets busy during the harvest season. I like it all, I really do. There's, that's different every day for me. I come in here every day, it's something different. I started off pretty much uh, about a week on the line and then uh, supervisor on second shift. And then I transferred over to first, and I've been on first for five, about two and a half years or so. The Akron plant has grown substantially over the past decade. Owner Rich Erickson expects the workforce to increase each season. One of Rich's goals is to hire a new employee every six months. Um, I think he's done a, done a great job at that. Um, obviously, Akron, I've been here for nine years at this facility, and when I hired in, I believe there was three or four employees here when I had hired in uh, to the 22 that we have today. Um, we actually do hire a couple more uh, employees, a few more during harvest season and, and during our busy time, um, and we try to keep them employees year-round. Experience is certainly important if you expect to work with heavy machinery, but Joseph says it's not the most important attribute you'll need to work here. I would say the number one thing uh, would be a positive uh, attitude, positive and motivated. Them are the two, two most important things um, when we look to hire somebody. I think if you have those two qualities, um, we can pretty much train you to be the employee that we want. That training is critical as the workers here ensure quality ingredients for our favorite critters. We all have pets. Most everyone that works here has a dog or, or a cat. And uh, definitely we wanna, we wanna make sure that our animals are, are safe and are eating safe, safe feeds. Um, so we definitely pride ourselves and wanna do our part in providing the major pet food manufacturers, our customers, uh, the highest quality pet food ingredients we can.